After sewing, place the trays on the shelves or tables inside the nursery for further raising. Depending on the season, use more net to shed or plastic sheet during the rainy season to protect the seedlings against large raindrops. To conserve moisture and regulate the temperature suitable for germination, cover the top of the containers with materials like jute sack or dried grass. Use only dried grass that is free of pests and weeds to prevent damage on your seedlings. Check the germination every day. If sprouts are already visible, remove the cover and expose them to light. Daily monitoring is important to check the status of the seedlings like soil moisture, presence of insect pests and diseases, nutrient deficiency and others. The earlier you identify problems, the quicker you can solve them to keep the damage to a minimum. If weeds, insect pests and diseases are observed, practice integrated pest management like pruning or removing plants that are infected, weeding, collecting and crushing insect pests, setting up traps and other methods. Spray pesticides when necessary. When nutrient deficiency is observed, especially when seedlings appear, light pale green as a result of nitrogen deficiency. Drench with fertilizer like calcium nitrate or other available nitrogenous fertilizers. Add 10 to 15 grams in 10 liters of water and drench on seedlings. Do not over fertilize as it can be toxic to the seedlings and cause burning. To acclimatize the seedlings to the field situation, do seedling hardening. Reduce water volume and expose them to more light. For tomato and cabbage, start seedling hardening five to seven days before transplanting and three to five days for watermelon and cucumber. With good seedling management, you produce a vigorous, strong and healthy seedlings to transplant.